Let's talk about Kyle Shanahan and his play calling. How could he change that? For the I think he's I I think he needs to go for it more and value offensive possessions a little bit more. So you're not going for it inside your 30, and you're not going for it on fourth and six. But to me, if you're outside your 30 and you're fourth and five or less, I think that you got to look at the analytics and see that the league trend is to go for it more. And I think I would try to – you put a lot of money in your offense. You got a lot of guys handling the ball you you want handling the ball. I think I would value each and every possession a little bit more and go for it a tad more. And um, no more punting from midfield or on your opponent's side of the field on fourth and three or less. I mean, just there should never be almost ever a time where you punt anywhere between the 45 and the other team's goal line when it's fourth and three or less. That's like no doubt. Got to go for it. Don't think about it. Just go for it. And I was going back to to me the 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 toughest loss of this Shanahan era was that NFC Championship game against the Rams because that wasn't a great Rams team and the Niners had beaten them six times in a row. It felt like they could have won that game and I believe the Niners punted from inside Rams territory like two or three times in that game. So this would be a great place for Kyle Shanahan to start. You have all this talent on offense. You have a million different ways that you can pick up three, four, five yards with all these players. Why are you punting? I know you like Mitch Wisnowski, and he is a good punter. He is a playmaker. The knuckle punt? Just kidding. No, <laughs> say, keep your offense on the field. Definitely. Definitely keep your offense on the field. That game was so frustrating because you knew the Rams wanted in that final drive to go to Cooper Cup, and they did. And it would have been so nice to like force them to do anything but Stafford to Cup. And I Meanwhile, don't know what the, I don't know the, what the Niners, Niners did. Kyle stopped going to Debo. It's not like it's not like the Rams forced him to. So that to me right there is a big I think that's the toughest loss. You can say, I understand they lost to the Chiefs. The Chiefs had Patrick Mahomes. They're better than the 49ers. Sure. Um, Eagles, that was a hell of a team. They like lost what two games all year when Jalen Hurts was healthy? Sure. But that Rams team, they're like ninth on offense, 17th on defense, squeaked out a Super Bowl victory over the Bengals, who the Niners beat in Cincinnati. That's a tough one. I think they're always going to look back at that year and say, we had the best player in the league in Debo, and he didn't get the ball with 13 minutes left. That's on us. Yeah, I I really didn't like that. Um, That's two big games, really. The Kansas City Super Bowl and that Ram game where Debo Debo was was allowed to not be a big part of it um, in the key moments. And you know what? I just think of, I mean, beyond this regime, beyond this era, going back to the Niners of yesteryear, they didn't go away from Jerry. They went to Jerry. You know, they you know they they didn't go away from Roger. They went to Roger. Um, so I and I I think he, you know it's easier said than done. But um, in hindsight, I would like to see I'd like to see them go for it more. And I, I'll tell you one other thing I'd love to see is I'd love to see them use. You know, it's a copycat league. The Eagles have had a ton of success with that rugby scrum short yardage play. And the 49ers have a fullback on their roster. They've got good backup offensive linemen. They could run that play as well as Philly runs that play. Uh, they even have quarterbacks who I think can do it now. I mean, and they always really have. Jimmy's always been a good quarterback sneak guy. I think Brock can be that. Trey can be that. So, Darnold's a big-bodied guy. Get your big people on the field like Harbaugh used to in short yardage. And, and you know, rugby scrum it, especially since, Grant, they don't call the they don't blow the whistle for forward progress they let that play go so it's like you get one surge and then you get a second surge and you if they blow it late you may even get a third surge yeah. and i think the eagles may have averaged like three yards plus per attempt and that's a lot on short yardage i think the thing that's most discouraging about kyle and the things he needs to improve is that some of them may not be things he can improve on. I, I really think sometimes his brain gets a little frazzled under pressure. Like he's known, you talk about things like Bill Walsh, the drive, the catch, like those are moments of clutchness from Bill Walsh that led to being a champion. With Kyle, it's all like, you know, like the collapse or the drop or the this or the, the excuse or the, I don't like him not calling, him not challenging that fourth down play in Philly. That was the game. That was the game. And he let it slip through his hands right there. He could have gotten the ball, turnover on downs, 
0-0 early in the game, but he didn't have it. And I think with him, it's like, you could have a 10-game winning streak, a 12-game winning streak, but if the pressure's on and you're a little nervous, are you going to, what are you going to do? That's discouraging about Kyle. I almost feel like he gets tight. Well, you know, I'll say this, um, as far as that, that play in Philly. Yeah. I do understand what he's thinking there from the standpoint of we don't want to waste our challenge early, but that's a regular season idea. Yeah. And, and in, in, in the playoffs, things happen fast. And the biggest play of the game could potentially be the first play of the game. You don't, it's not your birthright to have the game settle into a, a regular flow. And I, you know, I feel bad. I feel bad for him in that one a little bit simply because I felt like, I don't know what the Niners had as far as I don't know what views they had. All I know is the views that I had. I didn't get a view that said challenge that until it was already done. So the first indication was Hafonga saying incomplete, incomplete. That the was players the players on the field. The players the on the second field. indication was Hertz and the offense sprinting 40 yards down the field. <sighs> At that point, I'm I'm throwing the flag. And I'm gambling. Now, they could have deked me into it, right? Because I'd be, I still may not have had a good look at it. But those two factors, the, the my own player singing complete and then them sprinting down would be enough evidence for me to throw that flag. But I understand the thinking. It's like, got to save it for at least till the game gets rolling. But that was a crucial, crucial play. I mean, you have two challenges. And I think the beginning of the game was crucial because both teams are built essentially the same way. Take the lead early and play with a lead. Neither team wants to play from behind or has very much experience playing from behind and aren't particularly uh, successful scoring points from behind. So the Niners deferred. They won the, the coin toss in that game and chose to play defense first. They were banking on their number one defense getting stopped. And they did. They did. Yeah. They freaking did. And Kyle didn't throw the challenge. It's a tough one. The, it's one, tough one. the one that's really tough for me in that game, too, is the you're down seven and you're instead right of just saying time. yeah instead of just saying hey let's waste the clock let's to me once brock survive went out, it, the game plan should have been let's get to the fourth within a touchdown if we get to the fourth within a touchdown anything can happen anything can happen and instead they we could win on special teams we could get a pick josh. six all that yep yeah and and josh yeah. Also, I think the other lesson is don't have any quarterback. I mean, I love Josh. I'm his agent's a buddy of mine, but um, don't get, don't let anybody be a quarterback on your roster that can't come in and play. Yeah, good call. 